Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris and here we talk about business, candle making, and how to boss up. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some Amazon products that I think y'all should get, but they help me, so I'm trying to help you. So let's get into it. To start this off, I'm gonna start off with the most expensive thing so we can get that out the way. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, okay? But it is the thing that I'm the most excited about. And I got this because it's gonna save me a lot of time when I'll blow up, period. This first thing I'm gonna show you is something that I have used you know what i'm saying the first thing that i'm gonna show y'all is it's expensive you know what i'm saying it's expensive i ain't even gonna hold you but it is something that i feel like if you are getting a lot of um sales if you're getting a lot of you know time is money and it's gonna save you some time period that's all i'm trying to say it is expensive i'm gonna emphasize that i don't want to be judged but it's top of the line. I want to say this, it is top of the line and you don't need this. Like you don't need it. It's just going to help you when you start getting a lot of orders and when your business is booming. It is newer. Like it's the, the, the you know what? I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to just tell y'all what it is. So this printer is a labeled thermal printer. So you don't need any ink. Uh, I hear a lot of people talking about the Dymo printer, but this one I love. And this is the one that I ultimately ended up going with, even though it was the most expensive one. It's You can do wireless printing. You can print from your phone. You can print from your computer wirelessly. It is the only thermal printer, label printer, that can do this. That was a selling point for me, okay? I was like, wireless? The other ones, like, I just didn't want to have to deal with cores. I... I needed it easy. The reason why I like this printer, one, because it is a wireless printer. You don't need to be hooked up to the actual printer. You can just hook it up to your Wi-Fi, set it up manually, and it will do the job. It has made my life a lot easier and it just saves me time. Honestly, like I said, I don't I just don't have a lot of time and I didn't feel like I didn't feel like writing all the addresses for labels and also you know i do have an actual printer um that takes ink but ink is expensive and i just felt like this was an investment for the long run and i just felt like it was something that would eventually save me money and because i i hate buying printer ink honestly and i don't a hundred percent like my printer that i have um so I felt like this was, it was a gift. Somebody asked me what, what I wanted for my birthday and I said this printer. And she got it, she got it. Honestly, I went through a lot with trying to get this printer because as you guys know, a lot of things have been affected because of, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it, but you know what I'm saying? The reason why we don't lie down. This printer, it might be sold out because of I ain't gonna say it, you know why. Um, but it might be sold out, but I am gonna link everything below still. So when they do come back in stock or you can find it somewhere else, I'll let you grow. So the print, the brother, it's a brother printer. The brother printer is about, depending on where you get it, it can range from $250 or yeah, 350 you know what I'm Depending on where you get it from. I don't know where you get it wrong. I think the starting price is two fifty, but on up. Um, but yes, like I said, you don't need this. If you got a regular printer, yes, you can use your regular printer, or you can do it by hand. No, you know, we ain't judging. Don't judge me either. Okay. Um, this next product, this next product that I'm gonna show you is something that goes hand in hand with my printer. It is something that I use often too when I'm shipping out products, and it's something that is cute. 
it's super cute and it works very well um and it's this print i mean not printer it is this scale this scale is what i use to lay out my products and before i ship them but this printer is the printer that i use to lay out all of my products before i ship them out because like i said i don't have a lot of time and i'm not trying to stand in the line at the post office so i just would rather do everything at home ship everything from home and just have either a schedule or pickup or i have a post office around the corner from where i live just drop it on off and that be that so this is a product that i use on a regular so i will link everything below it's super cute too i think they have different colors so yeah so this next product goes hand in hand with my my business which is candle making it is something that i use on the regular so when i first started making candles i started with a candle making kit and i just got i just still i used most of those products that i got from my candle making kit till this day um i did make some tweaks just because one i wanted to save money and two some of the things that i started to use they worked well but they just weren't convenient throughout the candle making process so i got a new thermometer i think this is a meat thermometer i got this from amazon as well uh it has a little tip at, it has a little point at the end and i like this thermometer because i don't have to like you know what i'm saying i don't have to when i'm trying to figure out what temperature my wax is heated up to because i hate the you know who want to break their neck trying to read the temperature not me um so what i like about this one is that the little dial moves up and it's facing you whenever your thermometer is in the pot so you don't have to break your neck trying to read the temperature um i think i paid like 12 dollars for this um but it's super convenient this thermometer helps me a lot with candle making and i prefer this thermometer over the little um the glass one so the next product that i'm gonna let y'all know about is one that i truly 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 adore um it also helps me with my candle making and it is this it's a little dirty but this silicone spatula I use this to melt my wax and to stir in my fragrance oil i used to use wooden sticks but i would pay for those wooden sticks and I'm just not into spending a lot of money. And you know, I feel like wood holds on to fragrances. So whenever I would add a new fragrance, I would just always worry about if those fragrances would interfere with the new fragrances that I would be adding. So I decided to invest in these spatulas. It came in a set of five, they're all different colors. I got a purple one, a blue one, a red one, a green one, and all of them have their distinct scents a lot they're easy to clean they just melt right off i clean it the same way that i clean my melting pot i just put it in the pot while i'm melting the wax that's left over and just wipe it on down because it's so thin and because it's so smooth i just feel like it would be perfect for candle making if it was a little thinner i would appreciate that too but it's not but i really do like these i have one product that technically isn't from amazon but it is something that I wanted to highlight because it isn't something that I talk about often when I talk about my candle making. But it's something that I do think is very useful. And the one that I use, I'm going to just show y'all. So this isn't a product that I talk about often. Um, I don't know why because I do use it often. And it's something that I feel is necessary in candle making because you never know how your candles going to make. And you always question how you can make them better. But it is this little, it's a heat gun sound like a little blow dryer it's not the strongest which i appreciate because i'm not trying to burn my countertops i'm not trying no this is just this is perfect for if you have some dips in your candle you want to smooth out the tops um if you have some bubbles that have risen to the top this little heat gun will help you a lot this melts the wax well without overdoing it but i do wish it was a little bit more oomph in it and it's not um but i would recommend this just because it's not like a commercial grade heat gun i'm trying to light something on fire you know like it's great for candle making it's the perfect one for candle making i will link this below i don't remember where i got this from but i will find something on amazon that is comparable so that you can you know check it out at least um and the reason why i do like using heat guns is because it just helps make a consistent aesthetically pleasing candle top 
so i use this actually a lot uh if i have some dips in my candles or whatever if i just you know if there's frosting around the sides of the candles if i have like a clear container just melt it on down just melt it on down and it just helps take away some of that this ring light is super small as you can see it is about the size of my head which says a lot my head big um but this is small um i use this for lighting i do use natural lighting a lot but sometimes to alleviate shadows what i'll do is pop this like that over the whatever item that i am trying to photograph to like help alleviate the photo so i could just get a clear photo it's not the strongest ring light i do wish it was a little bit more powerful i would say this i think this is a 10 inch um but this does help a lot with some of the photos if i have shadows because i do take photos inside my house um and this tripod is something that i use too so i put my camera my phone on it so i use this a lot for my photos and this tripod comes in handy because this is like a really strong hefty tripod that i really enjoy um and it does come with a few things that you can use for your phone or whatever you're gonna mount on here like i said these two were purchased separately but most tripods have a little screw thing at the top we can just screw different items on top tripod i like a lot because it's just more sturdy it has some weight to it and it's not gonna break easy this little ring light it does the job like it's not the best ring light. It's not like not the most powerful ring light, but for what I use it for, it's perfect for my product photos. And it's perfect if you know I wanna go live one time, you know what I'm saying? You know? Um, but yeah, so I really enjoy this. So that is it, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps. All of the products that I show will be listed down below. Um, and if I'm not able to find the exact product that I purchased, I will list something comparable. The only one that I will not budge on is this thermal printer because I truly believe that this brother printer is the best. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all using because I need some new tips. I need some new things to buy off Amazon. And yeah, let me know. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.